Hello. Uh, back again. And this time I've got another book that was sent to me by NetGalley for review. And uh, if I'm holding that in the right place, it's Light Perpetual by Francis Spufford. Uh, he won the Costa with Golden Hill uh, a bit back. I've never read any of his before, so it was interesting to read a new author. That's one thing I'm finding since I started doing these vlogs, that my reading has moved away from solely crime fiction into a lot more varied genres. And it's quite exhilarating, really, to read different things. Anyway, this one, it's all about, well, to me, it's about second chances. The author writes that in London every day he would walk by a plaque that commemorated the uh, a 1944 V2 attack when the new cross branch of Woolworths that was destroyed. And when this attack happened, there were 15 under 11s that died. 15 under 11s were in the shop at the time and they all lost their lives. And this was the basis. He introduces us to five fictional children, Joe, Val, Vern, Alec and Ben. And he gives them a second chance of life. The first chapter is the bomb and the painstaking detail that he goes into when he's describing the bomb, the way everything's clicking around inside. It's slow motion. He's taking you in slow-mo to the falling of the bomb. And then he gives these children a second chance. We see them in various times of their lives. He goes from post-war to Thatcher's Britain to 2009. So he drops in on them for a few hours in each of these periods. And we go from print strikes, we go from schools and offsteading inspections and, and we cover basically everything. We also look, he also covers mental illness and love, everything that these children have, the children that died have, did not have, would not have had the chance to experience. And it's uplifting, really. There are lots of would-be's and might-be's and could-be's as he describes it in, in the book. And you do, well, this is my own personal opinion. I mean, I might be totally off the mark at all, but I th wonder whether it's not just a chance to sort of reincarnate these children, but to give them a second chance. And all the while I was reading it, I kept going back to the first chapter and looking at the children and think well, how their future lives had developed from the child that you saw right at the very beginning. And you, while you're reading, have they made the most of their second chance? They've been given a second chance of life. Did they make the most of it? That, that, that is my opinion. You've got religion running all the way, the way through the book. I mean, the, the title, Light Perpetual. Um, it comes from the prayer of the dead, may light perpetual shine upon them. And he talks about the, we see the consolation that religion can offer. And there's a lovely bit at the back when, uh, sorry, at the back, towards the end of the book, when he has this long section about praise him in all the postcodes, praise him all you who hope, all who fear, all who praise him, all who dream, all who remember. And it's this just long list of, of praising him and everybody that should be praising him. And that is really something to read. Music is also a thread that runs through the book. Um, we've got Vern who loves opera. We've got Joe who um, loves singing. 
we've got music in skinhead pubs music from teenagers rooms there's music running all the way th through and we've even got and this was a bit that i thought was absolutely brilliant we see a secondary school music lesson and the way that the teacher who is one of our characters layers all the different strands of music to create sound with these teenagers that she's teaching it's wow that, that's all i can say wow i love this book and the second chances it gives and the themes that are running through it my favorite character well i'd say ben with joe a close second but when you get the chance to read this because it's not published yet it comes out i think next month i'm not quite sure i think it comes out next month if you get the chance to read it drop a comment in the um video below and tell me who your favorite character was but ben was the one that that i liked so uh perpet sorry like perpetual by francis bufford um if you like the video you know what to do like subscribe click on the notification bell and I will see you next time. So take care, happy reading, bye.